Hello YouTube, Chrono16 here. Today is date October 31st, 2011. Uh, just wanted to talk about 2005 YU55 again briefly here. NASA released a, a report on October 28th of this year, of this month, a few, a couple, no, a few days ago, talking about how they're going to be tracking uh, asteroid 2005 YU55's flyby. And they're going to begin tracking this 1,300 foot wide asteroid as a science target of opportunity, they say, uh, using spacecraft or, uh, in, in Earth or orbit in um, actually here on Earth. And uh, what they say here in this particular story is tracking of the aircraft carrier size asteroid will begin at 930 local time, that specific daylight time, on November 4th using a massive 230 foot deep space network antenna. And it should last for about two hours. The asteroid will continue to be tracked by the Goldstone uh, Observatory area for at least four hours each day from November 6th through November 10th. Radar observations from the Arecibo Planetary Radar Facility in Puerto Rico will begin on November 8th, the same day the asteroid will make its closest approach to Earth. Now, the trajectory of asteroid 2000 YU-55 is well understood, says NASA. At the point of its closest approach, it will be no closer than 201,700 miles from Earth, or 324,600 kilometers, or 0 0.85, uh, the distance from the moon to Earth. The gravitational influence of the asteroid will have no detectable effect on anything here on Earth, they say, including our planet's tide or tectonic plates. In other words, they're saying it won't cause earthquakes or anything like that, which I already knew that because... I guess they have to say things like that because you got people out here on YouTube making videos saying that Elenin is still chasing the Earth in orbit and it's going to cause earthquakes and this and that. Uh, anyway, although asteroid 2005 YU-55 is in an orbit that regularly brings it to the vicinity of Earth in Venus and Mars, the 2011 encounter with Earth is the closest this rock has come for at least 200 years. During tracking, scientists will use Goldstone and Arecibo antennas to bounce radio waves off the space rock. Radio echoes returned from 2005 YU-55 will be collected and analyzed. NASA scientists hopes to obtain images of the asteroid from Goldstone as fine as about 7 feet per pixel. This should reveal a wealth of detail about the asteroid's surface, shape, dimensions, and other physical properties. A receivable radio observatory of asteroid 2000 YU-55, observations of it anyway, made in 2010 showed it to be approximately a spir spherical shape, round. It is slowly spinning with a rotation period of about 18 hours. The asteroid's surface is darker than charcoal at optical wavelengths. Amateur astronomers who want to get a glimpse of YU-55 will need a telescope with an aperture of at least 6 inches or 15 centimeters or larger. Now, I've been constantly checking the internet for anything that I could find. Uh, as you know, I, guys, I'm an amateur researcher, I, I call myself, and I haven't found anything at all anywhere that leads me to believe that YU-55 will hit us. But the, with all these weird drills that's going on on November 9th, with them shutting down communications in the United States for three minutes, a tsunami drill out in the Pacific Ocean. I mean, all these things are kind of weird. Um, obviously, you can't believe everything the government tells you. That's pretty obvious. That's pretty much common sense. I wouldn't believe everything the government tells me anyway. And you shouldn't either. So you have to be vigilant and keep your eyes open and be prepared for anything at all times because you never know what's going to happen anyway, realistically. But I have not found anything that says why U-55 is going to hit us. Now, it could. Do I think NASA would tell us if it was on a trajectory to hit us? No, they wouldn't tell us that. No, there's no way in hell they'd tell us that uh, we'd be, we're getting ready to get hit with an asteroid. They'd know about it. The government would know about it. Obama would know about it. And they'd all be in bunkers somewhere with their heads covered. Okay, but we, the, the regular people I heard in the real world, wouldn't know anything about it. So that's why... You should uh, do your own research. Uh, stay tuned to this channel. If I find out anything new, obviously I'm going to post it here. 
as fast as I can. Thanks for watching.